Hi everyone and welcome to the internet. This week we're going to talk about the history and discovery of Turner Syndrome. Now first off, who is Dr. Henry Turner? What is Turner Syndrome and how did he discover it? Dr. Henry Turner was born August 28, 1892 in Harrisburg, Illinois to John and Alice Turner. He attended St. Louis University and in 1918 he earned his pre-medical and undergraduate degrees. In 1921, he earned his MD from the University of Louisville. In 1923, Dr. Henry Turner met and married Frances Buckley, and they had two children. 1924, the Turner family moved to Oklahoma, where Dr. Henry Turner worked at the Oklahoma College of Medicine and became a consulting endocrinologist. And in 1938, he published his paper, A Syndrome of Infantilism, Congenital Web Neck, and Cubitus Valgus. In 1937, Dr. Henry Turner started his study on this new syndrome that he had found. There were seven women, six adolescents, and one adult. Dr. Henry Turner described these seven patients and said that they had the same unusual developmental and physical features. He also said that this condition occurring in the same individuals is unusual and to my knowledge has not been previously reported. It wasn't, however, until 1960 when the chromosomal abnormality was found. So now we know a little bit about Dr. Henry Turner, his study, and how he discovered Turner Syndrome. But now we need to answer the question, what is Turner Syndrome? Turner Syndrome is a genetic disorder that happens in about one in every 2,000 live female births. 98% are either stillborn or miscarried. This happens when one of the X chromosomes is either partially or completely deleted. There are two types of Turner Syndrome. Classic is when the X chromosome is completely deleted, and mosaic is when the X is only partially deleted. Signs and symptoms may vary, but the most common traits are web neck, low set or prominent ears, low hairline, short stature, and puffy hands and feet. Women with Turner Syndrome can also face many health issues, but the most common are heart, thyroid, osteo, hearing, visual, kidney, celiac, and low estrogen. And that's just some of the issues that us as Turner Syndrome women can face. Some other issues are nonverbal learning disorders and math. Math is not exactly my favorite subject either. I don't think it's a lot of people's favorite subject. But sometimes it can be difficult for us women with Turner Syndrome. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a little bit today about Dr. Turner, his study, and what Turner Syndrome is. And hopefully now you can tell your friends and you can share this video so that way everyone can get a little bit of Turner Syndrome awareness. Thank you and click on the subscribe button below so that way you can get our notifications whenever we come live or send another video. Like us on Facebook at Walt for Ferial or on Wing She Flies. See you next week. Bye!